Hi YouTubers, it's having a nice video today, so I'm going to announce some comments for right now, so some of the hate comments, voice comments, annoying comments, spam comments, fat comments, gay comments, uh, this is going to be discussing ugly comments. Now, uh, ugly comments are basically comments from people saying I'm ugly, so uh, yes, big ass cigar for life. Uh, now, basically these are comments that um, discuss me being unattractive, or ugly, or not appealing, and basically, now first off, this is an FYI for everybody in the YouTube community, YouTube is not a dating website. If you're looking for a dating website, YouTube is not a dating website, and there are some people who are looking for, to flirt with people, both in the uh, gay and non-gay community, so, and I have nothing against people who are gay. I mean, I'm not gay myself, but I have nothing against people who are gay, nothing against people who are bisexual, I have nothing against people who are heterosexual. I'm heterosexual myself, I'm 100% straight, and I'm not gay for the last time. But, I'm somebody who people will often say is unattractive or ugly. Now, I do have some features that are unattractive. For instance, my lips are a little bit bigger than the average person, and my uh, eyes are a little bit different. But, you know, for the most part, uh, everyone is created equal, depending if you believe in a deity or not, you know, if you believe in God or not. Uh, I don't believe in God myself, but I'm an atheist myself, not going to into religion, but uh, um, depending who you believe in, it's like everyone's created equal. I mean, some people are overweight, some people are skinny, some people are tall, some people are short, some people are very attractive, some people are naturally beautiful, and some people are in between. So, so, and everyone has their own preference, you know, some people like people who are a little bit chubbier, some people like people who are really skinny, some people like people who are really overweight. Again, you, you, you do not a dating website, but um, many people have their own preference. Mm. So many people will say, you know, I don't like your type. You know, many people will say, you know, well, I'm really skinny. I'm really attractive. I'm really, you know, skinny and hot. It's like not everybody likes skinny, hot chicks. It's like now in general, there are some, you know, rules of thumb, you know. For instance, it's very rare to find somebody who likes somebody who is overly grossly obese because in general that's not attractive. I mean, in general it's not attractive. Now some people have different fetishes, you know. Some people actually like, you know, smelling people's nasty socks. Yes, there are actually mm, some people who actually like to smell sweaty socks. There are people who like to smell people's armpits. Big ass cigar for life. It's like that some people like to smell people's feet. I'm not going to get too into that, I'm not going to get too off color, but um... There are, everyone has their own preference, but in general, there are some rules of thumb, like most people don't like people who are grossly, you know, 150 to 250 pounds overweight with, you know, essentially fat rolls. It's like, pe most people don't like that. And a lot of people don't like people who are anorexic, you know, who are, you know, extremely, extremely skinny, you know, and their ribs are showing. It's like, most people don't find that attractive. You know, most people like women who are a average size, average weight, and most people like that. Mm. But um, some people, you know, have different preferences. Some people may like uh, women who are a little bit more on the heavier side, you know, say women who are 10 or 15 pounds overweight, mm. as opposed to women who are at a perfect body weight. Some people will like women who are, say, 5 or 10 pounds below a lean body weight and are a little bit skinnier but not like ribs showing and that kind of stuff, anorexic. But many people will say, well, you're ugly, dude. And you know what, dude, screw you. It's like, at a certain point, you know, at a certain point, it's like, YouTube's not a freaking dating website. It's like, it's not, you're not flirting with people on YouTube. It's like, if you are or whatever, it's like, it doesn't break the terms of service. But it's like, I'm how I was born. I was born this way. It's like, you, I can't change it. Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> and I'm not going to put, like, a freaking bag over my head because I'm unattractive. It's like, and you know what, dude? It's like, another thing that's important to note is being unattractive or ugly is not... Um, affecting anybody on YouTube. It's like, yes, you may have to look at, some, look at somebody who's unattractive, but it's like, it has nothing to do in any sense of the imagination with a video. So, if the video is about cigars, nice big-ass cigars, big-ass pipe tobacco, it's like somebody being unattractive or ugly has nothing to do with the topic of the video. I mean, if you're so overly sensitive, you can't watch a video that has somebody who's a little bit overweight, a little bit um, hairy, that kind of stuff, hairy ass, has a big ass cigar. It's like you can't even look at somebody like that. Then you're really overly sensitive. It's like, you know, I've known people like that over my life. I've known people like that a couple, week, couple years back who are so overly sensitive. They can't even look at a person's video. They can't even look at somebody who's doing a cigar or tobacco review because they are a little bit unattractive. And it's like people like that are just hypochondriacs. Or not hypochondriacs, but you get the point. They're like overly sensitive. They're like almost fanatics. So are zealots. Anyway, give your thoughts. Bye. Big ass cigar for life. Ugly comments like the big ass cigar. Um, tobacco, um, you know, it's um, comments video. So anyway, bye.